Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Regs gameplay. In this gameplay, we are going to be playing K-Mac, as you see in the top right corner. This is a game for $1,000, essentially, you could say. Um, together, winner would be getting $750, a loser gets $200, so $950, with third and fourth getting $25 I pop. So, you know, this is a big game. Winner of this is going to get $500 extra compared to, you know, losing um in this in the second place prize and it's first place you know you always want to win first place get that little clout tweet and you know just overall it's a it's the small wins that matter so you know we are going to be running the over g formation and spread is insane especially in regs but this is how we're going to start off the game boys but we are going to be playing spread and we're going to be starting off very very early first play the game just watch and learn What an absolutely crazy way to start off the game, boys. That's how you get it done. User click on, absolutely baited him. Um, I'm gonna rewind it one time. See right here, boys, boom, boom, boom. Click on to Perry Nickerson, who does have 95 speed, and just an absolutely crazy play. We blitz the first play, and honestly, like, it was a great read, just a quick read to the table route, but I got crazy with my, you know, click ons. And that's something that's the next level that you guys got to learn to do. It's super tough to do, honestly. Um, but, you know, I, I've mastered it. I'll try to make a like short shorts video on that, but it's actually really difficult. It's more of a timing thing rather than, a, you know, you have to do this, you have to do that thing. So honestly, just a great way to start the game, man. And you see me hyped. You heard the audio clip. And that's what it's about, man. I wanted to keep my reactions in this game. And, you know, back to the over G we go. And, man, like I said before, the play had happened. Spread is insane in regs. It's insane in mud as well, but in regs, it's just kind of different. Right here, we're getting really adjusty right now. We're sending some heat, putting some hook zones there, and he's 0 of 2. The greatest way to start off a game is on defense, getting a pick six. And, you know, if we get the ball back again, I obviously feel super confident um, in our ability to win. But here we go. He's going to start motioning, and this is adjustment he starts to do. It's right here. We get another interception with Jair Alexander. Juke left, juke right. Really nothing there, but crazy user, and then a crazy CPU play by Jair. As we see, boys, in the semi-replay right here, um, Jair is just going to absolutely bait that, and he honestly runs the out route for him, and that's what happens sometimes when you don't have zone drops on. These thirds, especially in over G, especially if you press them, are going to match, bump, and run. Um, the only thing I will say is you could get give up bombs, and I do believe he had that seam streak, boys. If you want to rewind it i do believe he did have that seam streak but i mean we end up getting a pick man it's just a timing thing man and you know I'm, here we go finally on offense we are going to be running jets it's a continuation of the noah gameplay uh i wouldn't say noah gameplay but you know the gameplay of noah that we that i posted this is literally like two rounds later and um just a perfect way to start the game let's see right here we are in the jets bunch and first play looking for z spot looking for tay adams and we look and have a streak open but bruh how did he pick that off you see my reaction i'm honestly astonished astonished that he got there but that's a regs to mutt thing man i wish i had a little bit more space probably should have highballed it nonetheless definitely should have not thrown it but um i'm thinking you know in mud i have like a george kittle robert woods that's an easy touchdown uh, playing so much mud got me into thinking that that was open boys and honestly a lot of y'all probably would have thrown the same thing not capping but i do believe that was an open read but it's all good been playing good defense let's continue to play here we go cross manning a couple people and tell me if there's something open boys i do not believe there's a thing open and that's how i like to play the defense man if i could get my adjustments set, i do know that i'll you know have a great defense out there i trust my adjustments so much it's just when I get quick hiked is when shit gets bad, I guess you could say. Excuse me for the language, but I mean, it's the truth. It's right here once more. Great defense again. He's just going to throw this ball away. And here we go. Third down and 10. I'm trying to... I don't think I have 146 in this book. I think I chose a 46 defense. Um, honestly, it's very tough in regs to go away from 46, even if you are running over G. You want that 335 to 335 wide as insurance. It's right here. He has a couple things open. He has a lot of time. I do send five, but great pocket, great step up, and he hits the out route. But look at that, one for six, two interceptions. K-Mac probably been so used to playing a lot of wide 
that you know he hadn't played over G in a minute or played a heavy blitz stretch right here send the blitz a lot of time great read to Devonte, and he's gonna go up tempo man he's i don't know if he saw something or he noticed that my adjustments were getting you know when he was quick hiking he had some easy reads it's right there another easy read and you see me uh, i'm thinking to myself okay he, he's getting it down now he's getting it down it's right here we do get quick hike once more we do get a shed but it doesn't matter a nice dot to aaron jones and once more up tempo notice the up tempo the no huddle this drive has pretty much been based on no huddles it's right here we are going to play same defense again and we miss a tackle and that's how we get seven so bad tackling and no huddle drive i probably should have called a timeout early timeouts are not going to hurt you at all but nonetheless here we go tie game it's right here boys we are going to be running flood easy little dump off to aaron jones and we will take our six yards we are going to run z spot and there we go um really had nothing uh he had pretty good defense his user is really good as well we're gonna live for another down and throw it away and right here we're gonna flip our bunch and run jets dig my favorite playing regs he runs a little bit of match we have a lot of things open make a little bit of a rate late read and nonetheless we still may get the pass to valdez scantling across the middle that little dig route uh it takes a lot of time but you know if you could throw it it's gonna get you a lot of yards versus match versus blitz threats versus man-to-man -man coverage especially in regs where you know you don't get shedded that fast and peep the game in the background i forgot to turn off my tv but i honestly was not looking at it too much maybe here and there um i believe this is a i don't even know what game that is in the background it looks like a red team i think i see dame lillard so it's the nuggets and the blazers let me know who you got winning the finals this year boys for me honestly i'm gonna say it. i think i'm i think i might have the bucks obviously the nets are a nice choice but peep this play right here look at amos go crazy and thankfully it's not a pick six and you see the smirk on my face like bro how did he play that and there's a funny thing that fancy said is whenever i throw a pick or something bad happens i smile and you know usually it's the opposite for other people but honestly it's the truth and i'm kind of smiling right now because that's pretty much a very very true thing that i do um, but nonetheless, I have no idea how we played that, but it's all good. We're back on defense. We do get ball a half, and there goes Kevin King getting the sack. And I started to notice something, at least right now at this time. He started abusing my seam flat on the right, boys. Um, a really good at zone, especially out of over G versus uh, spread goons, is the seam flat. It baits a lot of the seam, and then it jumps down, at least in mud. In regs, I did notice it start to match so much on the streak that... You know, I started having, having to adjust. It's right here. We're going to play Mabel defense. And honestly, Dean Lowry, I can't I can't be too mad about that in a vert hook. It's literally a Dean Lowry. Like, he's not playing that. And right here, boys, we're looking for a blitz threat. Amos in the box. Um, just basically trying to adjust as fast as we can. Seam fly on the right, uh, left. And then I have a purple on the right as we're going to adjust for that. And just a great dot right there. Probably should have pressed Devontae Adams. It would have gave him that long extended animation, uh, basically not giving him a free release and messing up all the timing. And here we go once more over G. We send a blitz. He has a lot of time. He's going to dump it off to Aaron Jones. And honestly, that's a great play. Uh, if I had gone down in a hover spot, I would have definitely screamed at him due to him sending five out. But here we go with the four minute quarters, man. It felt like I had all control. I got back to back interceptions. I believe it was back to back plays or, you know, one extra play. And, you know, we threw the ball back uh, twice over to him. So we both have two interceptions. And, you know, we do get ball a half. As you see here, right here, really good defense. I'm honestly surprised Kevin King matched on that. Um, that's the thing about over G that I, I really didn't run it too much in the past couple months to know that things are going to match or not. And, you know, I'm, at least he matched. You know, I would have been definitely pissed if that hook curl did nothing. Because uh, for whatever reason, my third went out the freaking window. It's right here. Jair goes crazy again. He says, I got you, Pop. We make a, a subtle adjustment. I might rewind it for you, boys. An old man stick, I guess they say. I run out of bounds. Basically, boys, I made a crazy adjustment. I mean, it's not that much of an adjustment. But seriously, one little adjustment like that could help you win a game. I moved Jair into a soft squat. Definitely a really, really aggressive adjustment. Um, there's no help over there, but when you're sending the dogs, you could do stuff like that. We do a soft squat. He throws a baby out, and Jair literally matches on. Unluckily for us, we are not able to get seven, but we are chilling because, you know, honestly, that works for me. Is right here. Once more, have terrible stick. 
could have done so much could 100 percent scored on that but we just are not able to see right here man second and goal from the 10 not easy to score but you know we do have quite a bit of time as right here you get some crazy sheds and there goes the darius smith and boy i messed up quite a bit right here and you know i really have no other choice to you know run the ball take away his timeout if only i just scored with jair honestly i don't know if i would have even yeah it may have got tracked down but nonetheless it does suck running out of bounds so right here we are trying to think of a play you can see it by my facial expression we decide to run a little bit of buck trap um i think i believe i'm gonna pass it to this bubble and i actually have a pretty good chance Tavon austin hits a juke but guess what we go out of bounds and you know me i'm not going for this so a double whammy i mean it was worth a shot it was actually a pretty good play man almost end up scoring you know these packers defenders have terrible pursuit especially the safeties josh jackson and kevin king but nonetheless there goes the three and pretty much just got to play defense right here do get ball a half and we, you know we could clock out the second half but that for all starts we could play a little bit of defense right here right here boys he is gonna run a long developing play and pretty much have a terrible user right there and that was a crazy nice dot so right here boys he is gonna run another play and perry makes a great play um just a table route man and those table routes sometimes you know you hit them they're not gonna catch it as literally that just happened right there and man oh man I, if i give up seven right here he's almost in field goal range i could live with that but if i give up seven that'd be just like what did i just hold, do i had great chances both times uh to put this game away and i haven't been able to is right here easy dot to Aaron jones terrible user and there we go with that seam flat matching again um honestly should have definitely kept purpling that when i have a deep blue on that side but see that's just me not playing enough spread me not running enough over g it definitely happens boys is right here we are i believe this is it we are going to give up something easy it's right here never mind this is a, a drag to devin funches and man oh man i believe that dude is 88 speed but here we go the no huddle is going to throw me off my game everything is open we do send the blitz and devin funches burns us deep what year is this 2014 man 2015 with the panthers Devin Funches, like I said, I believe he has like 88 speed and just a very tough scene, but it's all good. We're going to take a swig of water and we're going to get back on offense, try to get some points before half. Right here, man, running an underrated play that was running a lot versus Noah. He actually has really good defense for it, so we are just going to extend the play, try to hit Valdez Scantling on the sideline, but we'd get under pressure by Big Z, Zadarius Smith, and that edge threat elite. So here we go. I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, rattled a little bit as you see, hands over my head, but it's all good. We're gonna just go to a play that we love to run, and it's mesh. And we hadn't been running it at all. We actually could have maybe, quite frankly, thrown the the corner route. But after that Amos interception, I was not trusting it. As we're right here, we're gonna run it again, and he he has Amos in that same zone, but this time we wait an extra second, and boys there it is As, after i seen that i'm like yep we could spam this because the way he was playing defense uh a lot of people man they are not accustomed to you know short corner route like that and that's what makes mesh so good um honestly i've been running a lot of seattle so you know maybe my timing has been messed up but there it goes again mesh again and just about 10 yards out from field goal range i'm thinking to myself is he gonna run cover two this time will he run man and uh he actually decides to run man as you could tell by perry he's taking a step inside one that's how you know it's man if you want to rewind that that's a tell and i forgot to look at the tell but it is all good because we are still in prime position to get a field goal three timeouts 11 seconds need about 10 yards to be completely safe right here we're gonna go to our money maker jets dig and we are looking for this aaron jones table route and we are gonna get it easy field goal range as you see right here boys kick is up kick is good basically a tie game but honestly we are still down one point get ball at half really just looking for seven and to get take the lead with a two-point conversion um to extend it to a seven point game just play by play and we will see what comes and if you watch all my regs games you know i'm gonna try to mix in the run that's right here the run has no shot and trust me i'm still gonna go back to that run because i know in regs the run is really good and I just want to clock, man. I just want to clock out a little bit. Um, there's just, there's just like 
four minute quarters is so easy to clock out boys and you guys don't even understand because i don't even think you guys play four minute quarters it's right here josh jackson gets truck but here we go a third and about seven i want to say third and eight we are trying to dial one up we go to good old z spot he is in zone this time i noticed by perry he is in a cover three type of zone we take a step to the right and there goes a rod i definitely could have pass let it up but you see me put my hand in the air like we don't care knowing it's a Devonte adams dot once more amos kind of gets near it but still not a chance in the world that amos would have picked that off and if he would have picked that one off as well then hey man it's just, regs ain't meant to be for me is right here we're just gonna look for aaron jones and get nice amount of yards man those little stock in routes curls options those nice little plays when people blitz especially it's just easy reads and they add up man you don't always got to go deep boys trust me on that phrase because i was one of the guys that would always look to go deep but if you're playing a lot of this year's madden you just can't the sheds are too crazy the coverage deep downfield is amazing that kind of rhymed um but here we go we are gonna hit Devonte adams again and that was not the best rack but i mean as long as i didn't get cheated maybe that's why he caught it like that to help me not get cheated on the sideline and you see me thinking about my next step thinking about me getting seven <laughs> this is prime poven right here when when i'm just playing madden that's the face i always make and we are locked back in go back into the gamer stance and we're gonna run a little bit of mesh except this is not the mesh out of bunch this is the mesh out of bunch tight end nothing there and we're gonna throw it away kind of a waste to play honestly but he ran man and uh that mesh play has worked quite a bit out of tr bunch tight end and bunch tight end someone said it best they said it's a mixture of bunch and trips tight end so you know you could do a lot out of that it's right here we are going to go to flood and the stock fade route yes sir he just got faded just gave my man's haircut that was pretty corny but hey we're gonna go for two right here k mac psych we don't go for two we're gonna kick our pat and this was uh this guy kind of uh, sparked up a little conversation a little controversy do you go for two right here boys or not do you kick your pat or do you kick uh go for two i'm gonna kick my pat because i don't really trust myself on defense and i don't want to be in a spot where you know i have to get three um or i lose i'd rather be in a spot like um i'd rather you know it's either tied or i have to get three for the win type of thing I don't want to be in a spot where, you know, I have to get three to tie the game. I'd rather be in a spot that I need to get three to win the game. So in this spot right here, I trust my offense. And we're going to go back and play some defense. K-Mac is going to be back in the spread. And here we go with the quick hikes, man. He started to quick hike quite a bit. And we almost get there, boys. We almost, almost, almost get there. That would have been a crazy lurk. That would have definitely sealed the game. But a great pass lead up by Aaron Rodgers and by K-Mac. As once more, here we go. Back on offense. We're going to run Mabel defense, and, you know, you don't want to really run it with D linemen, but you kind of have to out of over G. As right here, we are going to be sending two um, great users, great defense, honestly. He may have had uh, Devontae Adams on that corner out early, but after that, really, there's nothing there except a broken play. But, you know, K-Mac knows better. He's going to live for another down, and he's been playing really solid offense, man. He's been making the right reads. He's been throwing it away when he has to. And that's really, you know, respectable. K-Mac has definitely been playing really good football as of late. He's been playing a lot of players lounge, mutt games, uh, just in general, regs and mutt. See right here, we are going to blitz. And there's a stock out route once more. So the spread, so crazy. Uh, you know, you could run one, four, six, trust me. But, you, you know, like uh, they could easily sub in a running back. And there goes that plan, you know right here man i decided to stop showing blitz i felt like showing blitz was kind of giving me a hard time on defense and we're gonna just now run normal pressed over g and you'll see me make adjustment in a second where i bring that other linebacker in the box it's right here really good defense except that route is so easy because kadar holloman has negative zone yeah believe it or not he has negative zone um, but that's the thing about the Packers secondary. You're not going to get a 99 overall in every position like Mutt. Um, that's regs for you. It's right here. I believe he's going to side. He, he ends up uh, going for a pass. And just an easy dot to Devontae Adams. I think I accidentally click R3 or something happens and they accidentally send my zone. Another thing that, you know, hopefully is fixed. When I, want, when I click R3, when I send the spy, I want them to send the spy and or the D lineman. 
I'd never want them to send a cornerback. Just doesn't make any sense to me, but it's all good. Hopefully we can hold up to three, see us manning up a couple people. And we click in our three and right there, send the right guy at the right time. Second down and goal. See right here, I'm gonna blitz this left linebacker and we have a vertical hook on that right. So I'm kind of confused how this didn't get guarded, but it's all good. Plenty of time for me to get some points, plenty of time to clock out this game. And ultimately, even if he goes for two right here, it doesn't matter. And this is the spot I wanted to be in. A lot of people were telling me, go for two, go for two. Um, ultimately, I wasn't gonna go for two because if I get stopped, man, he could potentially go for two and it would be a three point game. I'm not looking for ties, I'm looking for the win. I'm looking to get out of here with the, the victory, the $700, $750, excuse me. And here we go, money drive on the line. We're gonna start off this drive with a little bit of halfback base just to get to a hash mark. And I, I noticed, hold up, man. Can I just run base? I mean, that looked like a lot of yards, so you know I'm gonna go be go, I'm gonna go back to that run. Whether it be this next play, whether it be the play after, I'm definitely gonna go back to that halfback base, see if he could stop it. As you see right here, I'm gonna take all this time down. It's right here, boys. We are gonna be running this trap that I that I thought would work super well earlier in the game. And there it goes. I mean, it doesn't get the most amount of yards, but six, five to six yards, I'll 100% take it every time, especially in a scenario like this. And right here, man, the most important thing is I take it under two minutes and 40 seconds. Because if I do that, then it's gonna either force him to call a timeout before the two minute warning, or just ultimately take that two minute warning timeout. And then either or works for me is right here. I think I call hike too prematurely, but the, due to me having a long developing play, we are gonna be good. As you see right here, whoo, it goes down by one second, but nonetheless, he calls a timeout. Um, either or is the same thing, a two minute warning timeout and a no, uh, just a normal timeout are the same thing. Only factor is that, you know, you save a little bit of time when you call a timeout right at this point um, in the game. And not like real time, but you know, it just gives you chances and options to see like, okay, what do I wanna do? Am I gonna get the ball back? All that types of stuff. See right here, we run base on second and six, and we're gonna go back to the trap right here. The trap that had been working super, super well. We're gonna go back to that, except he comes out in man now. So the, my man run is this buck alert, the shout out Bobby V run. And right here, we see him on top in that safety, and Kenny Clark goes stupid. I forgot to double team him, boys. That's what I mean when I had him in playing regs. I forgot he had inside stuff, and this makes it that much more tougher. We're not even in field goal range. And honestly, if I was in field goal range, I probably would still go for it because I'm not trying to you know, let him get the ball back. I'm not letting spread beat me. See right here, um, this, we have a lot of time. He sends a blitz. I'm surprised I even have that much time. And a lot of my routes across the middle got bumped. And this went from a really, really great scenario to all of a sudden, what the hell is going on? I could lose this game on this play. And we have to think of a play, boys. We have to think of a play. An absolute dot for the win, boys. We're gonna be able to knee it out right here. Let me rewind it real quick and tell you what I was, what was going through my mind. So right here, boys, we are gonna come out in Z spot. And we send out five, he's gonna blitz five. I panic and I accidentally pump fake and we make a guest read from the heavens. Thank you, God. Woo, what a game, man. I mean, I had the running back route a little open. I knew he was gonna go run back to that. And nonetheless, I mean, that could have been a 50-50 play in itself right there. That third definitely had positioning on Tavon Austin, but we will take this win and we will run with it. Great game to K-Mac. We're still gonna have to kick our field goal. I'm not saying anything too early. Um, but it's looking like we're gonna come out of here with a W. See right there, boys. No ice field goal, no problem. The only thing is I didn't have a focus kicker, so I was a little scared if you heard me talking. Um, but GG's once more to K-Mac. What an amazing game. See right here, his last attempt, his last effort. It's not gonna, nothing's gonna come out of it. No fluky. And once more, what a game. Probably the most fun I've had playing in regs any game in general in a long time. We come along with that prize of $750. But till next time, boys, I will catch you in the next video. I'm planning to do a uh, QB Bo Jackson video and a couple more other more videos. Uh, be on the lookout for that, boys. But we are out of here with the $750.
number one overall I don't, I don't even know number first place there we go but as you see right here this click on and all that good stuff i'll catch you in the next video great games of kmac shout out to him and everyone who support on the daily